Hello, hockey skaters and goalies around the world, and welcome back to another edition of the show just for you, The Ride to the Rink. Today, we're talking with Olympian Lindsay Fry, who also is a high power person in the world of hockey. And we asked her a question about how to stay motivated when you're not motivated. So I'm going to dive into that. You'll hear me ask the question. She's going to give a great answer. Here we go. So, Lindsay, we're talking directly to the kids right now in the cars, riding to the rink. They want to hear from you. Uh, maybe they're going through a little bit of a time period here where they're not feeling as, as motivated as they want to feel in the game. What is your advice to a young kid that's feeling maybe a little burnt out or a little questionable about playing hockey? How do they stay motivated and move forward? Well, the first thing I'd say, you're not alone. Um, I, I think people like look at the pros and just assume that they're motivated all the time. They're not. Mm -hmm. I was, I got extremely burnt out in my college years, my Olympic years, like it's, it's, it's a lot. This is, this sport will suck a lot of it out of you. So just, just know that you're not by yourself. I think there's a difference between motivation and commitment though. So you're not going to feel motivated every day. Nobody does. Nobody ever will. But the commitment that you make to yourself, to your teammates, that you're going to show up and you're going to give your best every day. That's really what has to keep driving you forward. Um, if you're in a spot right now where you feel like, man, I just, I don't know if hockey's for me. What I always try to do in those moments is think about the first time that you ever played and think about when you first absolutely fell in love with the game and just try to go back to that place. Like, let that be your happy place where you remember why I do this. And if, if you're getting stressed out about, oh, I've got to win. Oh, I've I've got to get recruited by colleges. Oh, I'm not getting along with this teammate or that teammate or my coach is yelling at me. Like the best thing you can do is block out all that noise and remember why do I love this game? And I'll tell a quick story. Like I was so stressed trying to make the Olympic team. So stressed every single day. Like practice was not fun for me. I was worried about, am I going to get cut? Is coach going to get upset with me? Am like, am I even going to make the team? What's, you know, it's just constant anxiety and stress all the time. And I finally, right before like final cuts were going to get made, I was like, you know what? I'm here like training with the Olympic team. Like what, that is the, what I wished for every time I blew out my birthday candles as a kid. It's all I ever dreamed about, and I'm here, and I'm doing it. So you know what? Regardless of how this goes, I'm going to just enjoy this. And I'm going to – and all of a sudden, I started having fun. And all of a sudden, when I started having fun again, I started playing my best hockey that I had played in years. So I think my biggest thing, if you're going through a period of burnout or questioning whether or not you want to keep playing, recognize that you're not going to be motivated all the time, and that is perfectly okay, all right? And recognize that you play this game for a reason, and it's because you fell in love with it whenever that was for you. And that love is still there if you can go kind of back in time and find it and remember what you love about the game and then bring that to your practices and your games right here and right now. All right, that's going to do it for this edition of The Ride to the Rink. We want to sincerely thank Lindsay Fry for coming on the episode to talk to you directly today. And I hope you hear the wisdom in her words, especially the part where she said that you're not going to be motivated all the time, but you do it anyway. And there's a difference between not being motivated and not loving this anymore. When that love for the game disappears, you really got to ask yourself some questions. But I hope, I wish, and I'm sure if you're listening to this, that love will endure for a long, long, long time, probably forever. That's going to do it for this edition of the Ride to the Rank. Remember, kids, if you have a question or a topic you'd like us to discuss, accompanying this episode in the show notes, there's a link. You can tap on it. You can text us directly. Or if you got email, team at ourkidsplayhockey.com. Send us a message. We want to hear from you about the things you want to hear on the Ride to the Rank. Make sure you have a wonderful week in hockey. Remember, we believe in you. You should, too. We'll see you next time, kids. Skate on.